art and design, adding basic facial tone digitally. To get started, open up your sketchbook and press the top left hand button. Open up your gallery. And then in this next page, press the plus button in the bottom and then click new from image. In here, you'll be able to click browse and you should have already downloaded the template from your, from your assignments. So you'll be able to open it up from here. You can use two fingers to zoom in and out, which you'll have to do throughout this. But to get started, we're going to use the pencil tool. So to get started, press the pencil tool and you want to have your size around about 1.5. So use the slider push it all the way down and then opacity anywhere between 30 and 40% is fine. Your first task is going to be to sketch in all the facial features. So you want to sketch in eyes, the nose and the mouth. And if you use your guide um, template, you'll see you can also sketch in where the main shadow is going to appear. On the right hand side, we're going to add a new layer. So this little part that I'm wiggling now you want to press the plus sign at the top and there you go, you've given yourself a new layer. So once you're happy, go back over and go back to your pencil tool. This time I'm going to put my pencil size right to the top um, and I'm going to lower my opacity. Watch what happens when I make a little mark and then I make a mark on top. Can you see there's darker shades? What you want to do when you're colouring in is not take your hand off at all. So if you're using your finger or an Apple pencil, it doesn't matter. Don't lift your hand up and you'll get the same colour like mine the whole way around. I'm going to leave some bits white. So I'm going to leave the bridge, so the middle of your nose, your cheekbones and a little bit of the lip and the chin. The reason I'm doing this is because that's where the light would hit. If it's a really sunny day, those parts would be the brightest on your face. When you finish that, you can add another layer on the right hand side if you want to or you can keep drawing on the same layer it doesn't matter this time i'm going to change the opacity in my pencil size and i'm going to start adding in um, the darker tones if you're not sure where these are you can one look in a mirror or two you can look at the reference photo um, that we've added into your assignment okay shadows tend to be here and your cheekbones is a little bit like doing makeup um so you've got your cheekbones, your temples, um, sometimes under your eyes, the bridge of your nose. Um, and you can see where I'm adding them just now. Once you've done all the basics, what you're going to do after this is you're going to make bits darker. You're going to get your pencil, make your pencil much smaller, as you can see that I'm starting to do now, and raise up your opacity. And if you manage to complete the last task, You'll know that you can use um, hatching, cross hatching, um, there's scribbles, there's lots of different ways you can add texture and tone. So you'll be able to see I'm using a little bit of cross hatching. The main thing we want you to think about during this is where tone would, would be in your face. So where shadows would be and where the highlights would be. So it's up to you what pencils you use. You don't even need to use a pencil. You can go in and play around with the other tools. So you could use airbrush or a paintbrush, but pencil tends to be the easiest. Um, and like I said, you can use any marks that you want. When you've done all the basic um, shadows, we're going to go in and we're going to add a little bit more detail, which I'll show you in a little second. So when you're ready, if by using two fingers, you can zoom in and out. And now we're going to start adding a little bit of detail. You don't have to add the detail. This is just a little extra if you want to try it. Um, but if we use a smaller brush um, or pencil, we can go in and we can start adding details like the lips and nostrils, um, eyebrows, things like that. So have a little watch and follow this tutorial if you want to give that a try.
Once you've completed your task, all you need to do is press on the top left hand button, press share and save it to your files, go into your assignment and upload it there.